This video reviews a key formula which we use to find the area of trapeziums. And there are two examples here, one involving numbers, the second involving sides in terms of x, which in the end we have the same process to work out the final answer. Now the key form to learn to make these questions simple is as follows. A half a plus b lots of h. a and b are the two parallel sides in any order and h is the height or the distance between the two parallel sides. So, to find the area of the first trapezium, it's a simple matter of putting those numbers into that formula. There's a half times a plus b, 5 plus 8, times by the h, which in this case is just 4. Now 5 plus 8 is just 13, times by 4. And then 13 times 4 is 52, so it's just a half of 52, which in this case works out to be 26 units squared. There were no units in the original question. So all we do is we add the parallel sides, we times by the height, and then divide in the end by 2. Now this second question, and this tends to be part of a higher grade question, involves algebra. But it's the same process. A half times by the 3x and the 11x times by the h. I've shown that I know the formula, and the next step is to work out bits of this. So 3x plus 11x is just 14x times by the 5x. Now there's two options here. We can halve it straight away or do the timesing. I'm going to the times first. So 14 times 5 is 70. And x times x is x squared. So it's a half of 70 x squared, well a half of 70 is 35. So the answer in terms of x is just 35 x squared. And again, we used a formula, we worked out the bracket. I chose to do 14 times 5 first and then half. Remember x times x is x squared. But if you think about it, a half of 14 is 7, and 7 times 5 is 35, so whichever order you do, you'll get down to the same answer in the end.